Imagine owning something so beautiful that everyone wants it. If you have something like this, then it would surely be of same value, right? Now imagine something that's unique and just one of a kind, and it comes with a certification that says that there is no other thing like this. It's just one and only piece that exists in the market. Will that thing have any value? Yes, it would still hold some kind of value. The same thing is with NFT. The first example that I threw over there was just because I thought it was cool. My bad. Please ignore it. Now that I said the world NFT, let's go forward and discuss what this NFT is. Welcome to Finvice. And today we're talking about NFT, so what is NFT? NFT is a non-fungible token. Yes, I'm not making it any clearer. It's something that it's one of a kind, same as the painting by Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa. It's just one and that piece holds a lot of value. Now, what is fungible? Bitcoin is fungible. You can get one in exchange for another. There are millions of Bitcoins in the market, right? But when it comes to NFT, it's something that cannot be replaced by another. If you trade one for another, you would have something completely different. Getting my point? NFTs are created and stored in the blockchain, and most of the NFTs are stored in the Ethereum blockchain. Now the question is, what could be converted into an NFT? The answer is anything. It could be a song, a photograph, a graphics design, it could be anything that you can upload into a system. So how does this thing work? Imagine creating digital art and then attaching an ownership certification to it, and then storing it in the blockchain. This is how simple it is. You take something, assign a token of ownership to it, and then store it inside a blockchain. Now this NFT that's created works on the decentralized medium, so people around the globe can see it on their devices and they will know that it's owned by you. This is NFT in simple language. Now this certificate of ownership can be transferred to someone else. When you do that, the NFT doesn't go anywhere. It stays there in the blockchain and the only thing that gets changed is the name of the owner. Same as a wire transition, the money physically doesn't go anywhere. It just gets credited and debited from one account to another. The same thing could be with the NFT. You can trade your NFT for another NFT or you could simply sell it for Ethereum. And trust me, many digital artists are doing that. They're creating art, listing it as an NFT, and then putting it on sale. And as soon as they find someone who's willing to pay the right amount, they sell it. NFT is not very complicated. It's just a simple thing that even you can create your own NFT, and who knows, maybe it'll go for hundreds of Ethereum. Well, this was a simple explanation about what NFT is. I hope that you have understood the concept now. If you did, then do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. This was all for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.